It is Money Monday, and we're talking about everyone's favorite subject, debt, whether it be credit cards, car loans, student loans, or a mortgage. Listen to this. A survey done by NerdWallet found the average American household is carrying $130,000 in total debt, with credit card balances making up more than $15,000 of that. So today we're asking our expert, how do you have a healthy relationship with debt and how can you best management? So I'm joined today by Jan Hierking, founder and CTO of Bicycle Financial. So Jan, millions of Americans find themselves in this yes. situation. What do you do when you're staring at a stack of bills? What was the first step? So number one, we're all debt dummies. Mm. So, you know, just relax. All of us have this problem. You know when you have a healthy relationship with debt, when a few things happen. One, you pay your bills on time. Two, you, um, have a plan for reducing or eliminating your debt, you pay more than the minimum balance, you check your credit mm -hmm. scores, and finally, you may trip up, but you get right back on track. So you created a tool that can kind of help people. Let's yes. take a look at that and tell yes. me how this works. This tool um, basically is called Debt Check. It's on www.bicyclefinancial.com, and it creates, basically tells you the debt to income ratio. So if that number comes out to be more than 36%, yeah. you're probably feeling very uncomfortable. And besides that, if you feel uncomfortable about your debt, you should do something about it. Okay, so let's say I figured out I'm in this hole. Yep. What, what do I do to start getting a handle on it? What, what you suggest using a budget tool? Yeah, definitely take a look at the budget tool, but the first thing you should do is do an inventory. Okay. It's painful, but do an inventory. What types of debt do you have? What minimum balances do they have? What balances overall? And what's the interest rate? Once you do that, then you use a budget tool. How much can you allocate monthly? Okay. You go to the creditors and you say, can we negotiate payments okay, or you, fees? Okay, you say that. Is there a strategy when dealing with creditors? Yes. And how, I mean, are, are they really likely to work yes, with you? Yes, because truthfully, they'll get nothing from you if, and they could get something from you. Right. So a it's little a bit's better deal. than nothing. Uh, exactly. Okay. So it's a good deal to try that. You need to prioritize your debt also. Yeah. Go after the high interest rate ones first, and then uh, go to the lower interest rates. Mm -hmm. And finally, don't incur additional debt while you're trying to clean you, up the past debt. How do you do that, though? You, you literally have to, you know, sort of suck it up okay. and make sure that you only deal with the debt pool that you have and you pay with cash. Okay, because it is sort of this never-ending cycle, totally. right? Totally. Um, okay, I, I think it's a great idea though. I, I love the, the tool because yep. it really allows you to plug in the numbers, yep. but it's hard for people to do that. Yes, yes. So how do you kind of get motivated? So I think there's a couple of things that you can do. Everybody needs a money buddy. Mm -hmm. So if you're in a relationship yeah. at home, drag that other person in. It's not just your problem, it's their problem too. So get a money buddy. The other thing is Bicycle Financial has a list of educational sources that you can actually look at. Okay. And you should read them if that's what you want to do. Or if you need professional help, use a debt counselor. And Bicycle Financial has access to that too. And a lot of those counselors are free. They are free. Uh, some of the services You'll are. see toll-free numbers on Bicycle Financial, which is free. And the toll-free numbers you can call, and that's free too. Okay, great. We so. have a lot of that information on our website, yep. folks, ktv.com. You should check that out. Jan, thank you. Thank so, you. So best advice, be, be a money buddy, not a money dubby. Got it, Ken yeah. and Rosemary? <laughs>